Hi everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, I would like to announce that my PowerShell course for Citrix Administrator is ready and it is available. So, what is this course about? What is this PowerShell course for Citrix Administrator is about? So if you're working as a Citrix administrator, Citrix administrator in Citrix environment, or you're someone who wants to learn PowerShell, you know, to execute PowerShell in the Citrix environment as a Citrix admin, if you are a level one or level two or level three, uh, whichever position you are currently, this course can help you to start using PowerShell. See, I've seen a lot of people who are level two and level three persons, you know, who haven't got an opportunity to run PowerShell commands, okay? Maybe thinking that PowerShell could be a little difficult or PowerShell, you know, can be very tricky to learn. So, in this course, I made it, you know, very easy to understand so that, you know, you can just start following what I have shown in the videos. If you have watched my previous videos on YouTube or if you have taken any of my courses before, if you have understood what I have explained, this PowerShell course will also help you to help you to clearly understand what is this PowerShell and what kind of commands we can run in the Citrix environments to solve various issues, to configure various issues. So let's say if something is not working in the Citrix environment, so you, you may be having hundreds of PowerShell commands, but you should know exactly which PowerShell command you need to run and what output you need to check, what what you need to check exactly. So just, just because you have a PowerShell command, you run it, but if you don't know what to see if, and what what is the what is the you know what is the point you need to notice from that output then you will not be able to move forward so in this video i made it very clear i made it very clear that you can see those things or you can you can see those things you can understand like what what things that you need to check to troubleshoot those kind of issues okay so let me scroll down a little bit okay so the course name is PowerShell course for Citrix admins and this course is made to help Citrix administrators to guide them on how to start using PowerShell to run important commands, troubleshoot issues and configure things in the Citrix environment. This course will help you to help you to start using PowerShell without much hesitation. By the end of the course, you will quite comfortable. You will be quite comfortable executing PowerShell commands to solve issues in Citrix environment. So if you if you haven't got an opportunity to run PowerShell or if you had some kind of hesitation to run PowerShell in production environment or, you know, uh, test environment, this course will definitely help you step by step. I told you like this needs to be checked. This output needs to be checked and if you follow these things end of the course you will be able to understand how to solve issues okay so if you come with a mindset that okay Naresh is going to teach something I can learn something from his experience using PowerShell then please enroll to this course if you are coming with a mindset that you want to become a PowerShell champion and you want to you know become an expert by the end of the video end of the course then this may be this may not be the right course for you okay this is this course is made thinking only about Citrix administrators in mind. Okay, it's for Citrix administrators. If you want to run some other commands, then it's not for you. This is for Citrix. If you are watching my video and if you're a Citrix admin, if you are interested about Citrix, then this is the course for you, PowerShell course for you. Okay, I just want to highlight that before. Okay, let me scroll down. So even though, even though I need to, you know, uh, run PowerShell Citrix command, Citrix related commands. You should have basic understanding of PowerShell. Basic understanding. That's why I have created some videos PowerShell fundamentals, so that you know before I start running Citrix related commands, you should understand basic PowerShell. So I have made some videos for you. Okay, I have made some videos, so you can follow these videos. These are like the basics. You can complete it, and once these basics are basic videos are finished, you can start running the you can start watching these citrix related videos so please go step by step okay please don't go to the second section immediately go to the go to the first section watch these videos try to understand and then start you know watching the 
section 2 which is powershell using powershell in the citrix environment so these are all the videos so i have shared my lot of you know personal experiences as well when you need to run these commands and it's all real time i was also you know ju not just running the commands i was you know i ha i had i had the lab environment with me so i was just showing the output as well i have i was comparing the real time you know things that you might get in the citrix environment and how you need to run these commands parallelly so so these are all the topics that I have covered. So, so it starts from here, how to, you know, activate command layers on delivery controllers using PowerShell. I went deep actually, I, I did some, you know, uh, you know, I gave more information about these topics, like how to troubleshoot desktop delivery control. This is very important. See, this is like the health check that you need to do, you need to do in the Citrix environment. So how to troubleshoot the desktop delivery controllers and what you need to check exactly. That is very, very important. Okay. What, what you need to check exactly when you get the output, how to perform live test, how to check the status of service services. Okay. So if something is not working, how to run the command. Okay. How to test database how to test and monitor database how to test logging database so these are all the health checks health checks that you do in this citrix and these, these are really important actually so, so if you join some organization if they ask you okay uh, can you create one uh, document or can you have an sop standard operating procedure to do some health checks if you you know <laughs> if you make a document out of these things it will be well noted okay this is more than enough okay how to do database connectivity okay uh, you know these commands are really important get set remove reset your you know complete powershell course you know depends upon these commands so you should have uh, some idea about when to run these kind of commands okay so how to how use get help okay how to it's a, it's a get help is like a command that you use in the citrix environment i mean in the powershell to know to navigate through different issues so get help can really help actually so i have discussed in uh, you know in detail like how we need to use this command to you know find various things so these are how to enable local host caches so this is one of the important things that you know we need to know why we are using powershell see localhost cache it cannot be done it cannot be done using console or citrix studio console localhost cache can be done it can be enabled only through powershell only only through powershell this is one of the important reasons why powershell is important as a citrix administrator if someone tells okay enable localhost cache then you know you should know that this can be done only only through powershell not through citrix studio or some other console so this video can really help you it's 11 minutes video so how to keep servers under maintenance mode how to disable servers in maintenance and how to enable maintenance for 100 machines using a single command so i have covered all the important topics that a citrix administrator you know uh, needs in the citrix environment okay so the course is ready the course is ready so uh, the price for this is 6,000, but you know, for the first two weeks, for the first two weeks, you know, uh, if you are really interested, you can, uh, you know, send an email to me. I will mention my email address in the, uh, in the, in the video description. And also you can, yeah, you can send an email to me and, uh, yeah, for the first two weeks, I will make it as 5,000. And if you are really, really interested, yes, you can take this course. So what else? What else? Yes. Yes. So yes, I forgot to mention. So in future, if I want to, you know, add my research materials about PowerShell, I'm going to add my research topics and all into the same course. So you will be also watching my personal research material in this course, you know, uh, you know, uh, closely. So this is about PowerShell guys. So if you if you haven't got an opportunity to run PowerShell commands or if you have some kind of, you know, uh, hesitation or something, this course will definitely, you know, help you. You will start, you know, opening PowerShell in your environment and you know, like how to navigate and what commands you need to run. All these things you can easily do it. Okay. I, I really hope uh, you find this information helpful. Thank you for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.